How about you have a look around? We can meet back here tomorrow. The next watcher is... Cherub of the Coniferous! Welcome to the story, Chalet. Did you feel that earthquake? It could only have come from the volcano. Shannon's boat. <gasps> Hi! Hey! Oh, Carto! So cute. I was so worried when you didn't show up at our meeting spot, but it sounds like you've been busy. The story tender told me you dropped by here on your way to the desert. Did you find any clues about your granny there? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. I bet she's looking just as hard for you. I hope. <gasps> oh, you felt the ground shaking too? I thought it was just my lunch disagreeing with me until some books fell off the shelf. The volcano must be acting up again. The eruptions are quite a sight to behold. The sky darkens with thick black smoke and orange embers drift through it like snowflakes. Hmm, that smoke might make the sky harder for your granny to navigate, Carto. I wonder if you can warn her somehow. I bet it's worth a try. Great, I bet we can find some clues in the volcano wing. I'll meet you there. Such impatience. I'm sad to say the volcano wing has been missing for some time. The chalet can be a bit unpredictable. Sometimes the rooms are where you'd expect and sometimes they go missing. If only I could visit the top floor again, someday. Huh? Ah, please ignore me. Just a wistful yearning of an old man. Anyways, I can't be of much help locating the volcano wing, but I can usually find what I'm looking for if I read enough books. No better place to start. Now, has this updated? The little cartographer had come up dry looking for her granny in the desert, but she had other burning issues to deal with. How could she warn her granny about the volcano that was about to erupt? And before that, she had to figure out how to get there. Okay, I have to be honest, this is the part I was dreading. I feel like this was so hard to make the top floor of the story chalet. I don't even really remember how I did it. I don't think I ever figured out how I did it. I just miraculously did it. So, okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, what's here? Horror at the story chalet. That chalet is cursed, I tell you. While exploring its labyrinth halls, I came across a floor sign bearing no number, but an ominous question mark instead. I ran to the stairwell in a panic, only to discover that the floors above and below it were equally unmarked. I saw rooms I'd never seen before on these unknown floors and fled in terror from the shock. I will never return to that unholy place. Okay. 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 So have we made an upstairs? No, we have not. There's no upstairs right now. Why not? Put down. Did I just do it? The water seekers. The water seekers were highly revered in their tribe, being responsible for the survival of the people. Did I already read this? I can't remember. Okay, so I have a question mark floor down at the bottom, but I need, I don't know what I need. Oh, now I don't have it at all. There, and then just this. What? Did I do it? Root routes, mother's roots stretched across the forest as she grew and far beyond. They grew along hidden paths, snaking their way to distant lands across the world. These paths were subtle and obscured to all but most intrepid explorers. Only the trees knew how to access them and they didn't speak much. 
Lempa, the 255th Watcher, bearing an earthworm companion and a great big bushy beard, Lempa the Messenger was chosen as the 255th Watcher. Lempa and his earthworm patrolled the Wildwood for decades, steadfast friends and protectors of mother. Sadly, an errant sparrow snatched the earthworm from his shoulder, leaving him alone with the trees for the remainder of his watch. Through to this day, the countless progeny of Lempa's earthworm friend crawl beneath our feet, hungry for dirt and ready to help. Cherb, the 256th Watcher. Many years before Cherb became the 256th Watcher, Cherb was a small beardless Cherb. Cherb did not make friends easily and would spend many afternoons exploring the woods by Cherb's self. One fateful afternoon, Cherb followed a sad hooting noise and found an owlet stuck in an animal trap. Cherb freed the owlet and dissembled the trap, turning it into a stretcher to carry the owlet until it healed. Cherb and Cherb's owl companion were never apart after that day and now tend to the mother together. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Are we still the enigmatic stories, shall I? I think I found something. Oh, volcano calendar. Well, hold on. Volcanologists, volcanologists, volcanologists are divided on the accuracy and scientific basis of the volcano calendar. Proponents of the calendar claim that it's been an invaluable planning resource for countless generations. While detractors dismiss it as a bunch of meaningless nonsense carved on a wall by some vagabond, in any case, residents of the volcano always seem to avoid disaster somehow, whether or not they're expecting it. Okay, what'd you find? I just had about given up on finding the volcano wing when it appeared out of nowhere. This is such a strange building. Anyways, I think I found something in this book. Have a look. The volcano is a popular tourist destination due to its temperate weather and world famous spas. Travelers can take the long way up, ascending its face over the course of several days, or hope to catch a ride on a friendly member of its thriving mountain goat population. Though the fastest, most reliable paths up the volcano lie deep within the forest for those who can find them. It sounds like you can get to the volcano through the forest. If there's a path, I know you'll find it. There's no one better at finding their way through the world. Oh, you'd like me to go with you? Hmm. I worry that I'd just slow you down. I hate to split up again, but you find your way around so quickly and time may be of the essence. So hurry along without me. And in the meantime, I'll do some research for us here. Okay, goodbye. Good luck in the forest. I know you'll find your way to the volcano. Okay, 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 I'm going, I'm leaving. I can't get out right now. I've got to connect this back this way and then this. I've got to get out of here. Goodbye, story tender. Did you find the volcano wing? It's got all the hottest items in the chalet. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's read this book. The little cartographer knew where to go next. She'd find her way to the volcano through a path hidden somewhere in the forest. She bid her friend goodbye once more and headed back toward the wildwood. Nothing was going to keep her from her granny. Okay, let's, we're in the wildwood looking for something. Uh... Back through here, maybe? Oh, foxy guy. Ah, small one. No, I'm not trying. I'm trying to talk to him. A boon to see you. The finest navigator of these woods I've known. We're in need of your skills. We can't seem to find Cherb. I mean, the new watcher. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to saying that. Neep and his vulture are getting a bird's eye view from one of the bigger trees. Maybe they've seen something interesting? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? Where would one of the bigger trees be? Uh, here? The volcano path is elsewhere. Okay. One. Well, big trees. This guy? Okay. Is he here? 
The volcano path is elsewhere. Oh, okay, bigger tree, and the trees are moving. Okay. I've looked at the trees. Oh! The vulture's actually on the map. Are you kidding me? He's on the map. Just put it down. Hi. Hey, Neep. And his vulture. <laughs> what? What's happening? Cherb absent. But vulture C. Northeast mother. With haste. Northeast. I mean, do I have to add more maps or do I just go northeast? Northeast would be up here. This is the northeast corner. Oh, 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 oh! Hi! Okay. Yeah. Hi! Cherb! Hootie tootie! Cherb, very glad to see you again. Though Cherb's been hiding, needed a break from watching Mother grow. She is very slow and very quiet. Tell Cherb of your travels. Have you visited other forests? Perhaps met someone who likes watching trees? <laughs> someone who needs a job? <laughs> Chirp is really trying to get out of his decade-long job. Hmm, the volcano. Chirp visited once when he was a sprout. Not sure how to get there, though. Hmm. Perhaps Chirp can ask the Wildwood. Old Watcher has been teaching Chirp a bit of tree tongue. Russell, Russell, Russell. Russell. Russell, 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 Russell. The Wildwood says something about a bee and a witch. How exciting. Russell, Russell, Russell. Ah, mm. Cherb is still learning, apparently. They say a tree has an itch. <laughs> Not a bee and a witch. Not sure what it means, but maybe you can scratch it. Cherb will draw you a reminder. Okay. Oh, the tree has an itch. Okay. Cherb suppose it's time to rejoin mother now. Everyone can stop looking for Cherb. Owl, see you there. Uh, okay. Thanks for the drawing. Okay, there's the itchy tree. Let's just move him here. And then we can just go to him? A small hole behind the tree blocked by thick branches. They look like they're scratching. The branches blocking the hole are too heavy to move yourself. The branches blocking the hole. Okay. I guess let's rotate you maybe because you are a strong guy can you help me not that you need a strong guy but apparently a tall guy i guess question mark itchy tree <laughs> ah ashes rain skies darken earth shakes cannot take you there no but paths exist yes go deep down? Okay, that didn't really help me. Are there any other of the people? The guy with the fox, he was... Well, I don't know where he was. I don't remember... Oh wait, there's a road, there's a pathway there. So if I put the pathway like... Like that? I don't remember where any of the other people were can someone help me hello oh i need more friends and i don't see them anywhere what if i just um i don't know connect everything would that be weird to do You know what? What if I... I don't need a strong man. What if I ask the vulture for help? Hi. Can I talk to you? 
Will you help me? You do not seem helpful. Go deep, friend. What does that mean? Like in here, the volcano path is elsewhere. Well, it's the itchy tree. The volcano path is elsewhere. No, this is the itchy tree. This is... The branches blocking the hole are too heavy to move yourself. Who can help me? Why aren't you helping me, sir? Will someone in here help me? Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Chirp, will you help me? Mother was very understanding of Chirp's absence. Did you find an itchy tree to scratch? I bet it looks just like Chirp's drawing. Yes, it does, but I need help. Will your owl help me? Uh, I don't know where everyone is. Maybe someone's still at this fire? Okay. I mean, I would be at a cool campfire, I suppose? Hanging out? Making some s'mores? Yes! This bear. I need this bear's help. You can help me. Oh my gosh, it worked! The bear is helping me! <laughs> I don't remember this at all! Yes, of course I needed to ask a bear! I didn't need to ask like a, a big man, I needed to ask a bear! Of, co of course! Oh my gosh! I did it and this is back where past Stacy picks up. So, see ya. And I hope you're enjoying this game. I love this game so much. I love you guys. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna see what's possible. Oh, those connect. What if I take this guy and move him around? Have we done that? Let's see where this goes now. Have I- this goes out, right? No. Oh, yes it does. Wait! Where am I? I've- what is this? Some text on the wall, but it's too dark to read. Okay, we need light. But what is what is this? Is that like a thing that we can light as a torch or something? Pippi, where are we? Yeah, I think there's torches around here. But we don't have any way of lighting them yet, Pippi. Uh, this looks like it is lit up. So maybe we can grab this light and take it somewhere else? Oh yeah, we're holding it. Okay. I guess let's go all the way back to the beginning and read the first text, but there's, I think there's more. Oh, this, is, this is interesting, okay. Oh, wow! We can just light up more. What does this read? What does this say now? One, two, three, four, five. The mountain is alive. Okay. So now basically anywhere that there's a torch, we can light it. Although I'm not really sure what that's gonna do. Seems like a good idea though. Okay. Oh, that was it. Can I can I take that back? Oh, I had like a oh, now I have more. Okay. Oh, look at I have all these lit torches now. There, we haven't explored this way. Maybe I shouldn't be, maybe I'm wasting my fire. Well, see, this is peculiar now because it's like, I don't really know, we didn't find any more map pieces. I can just keep going. I can just make it like this endless thing. 
Oh, I can't take it anymore. Okay. I don't know. Oh, wow. These all connect. Okay. We might have to just go out of this place. Because I'm not really sure what the point of this was. Unless there's just something that I didn't find. Wait a minute, the hole is gone too. Like, how do we even get out of here at this point? One, two, three, four, five, the mountain is alive. So this must be a clue. One, two, three, four, five, the mountain is alive. There are only four map pieces. Maybe we only needed five torches. One, two, three, four, five. The mountain is alive. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. The mountain is alive. So that was one torch. Well, I've done it now. I've lit more than five torches if that actually is one, two, three, four, five. Is there anything around here? Can I take this torch back? don't even know why I did that, but it worked. We've found a new piece of the map. Let's go. I'm a little worried. What is this hole? We're just jumping in it. We're just... Okay! Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea, Carto! Do you think? What was that? Uh, hi? Is that a secret tunnel? Are you a guest? I have to tell Thumbo. Oh, she's gone. Okay. A rotting wooden chest. Maybe don't open it? <laughs> okay. Some storage containers that smell vaguely of food. Okay. Some mildewy shelves. Oh! Okay, I climbed the ladder. Where? Okay. Are we on top of the mountain now? This is all very confusing. A goat-shaped marking on the ground. Huh. Indeed. <gasps> Thumbo? Well, hello there! Wow, Pinka wasn't kidding about a guest. Welcome to the world famous luxurious lava lodge. Ton of volcano, Pippi. We have all manner of superb facilities and the most scenic views. If it actually has a V, it's <laughs> views of the volcano. We are honored that you've chosen to stay with us. With us. Okay. They're usually quite full up with guests, but we can't seem to remove the rock blocking our entrance. It showed up during the last eruption, just over there. We've tried pushing it, breaking it, calling it rude names. It refuses to move. Anyways, the first night is free of charge. I'll let my siblings know you're here. They run the lodge with me. Attention everyone, we have a guest staying with us tonight. Let's take excellent care of her. 
I want that map piece, you know? Please have a look around. Just don't touch anything molten or bubbling. Okay, I don't, yeah, I definitely don't want to touch anything molten or bubbling. I want this map piece. Thank you. New piece. Put down. There we go. Okay, so is this the big rock that they can't move? A huge rock. It seems mildly offended. Okay. Well, I bet we'll be able to figure out how to move this. Now, who are you? You seemed like you were so excited to see me. Good day, ma'am. Please forgive my rudeness earlier. We just usually don't have guests arriving from our storage room, that is. But we're very, I mean, <laughs> we're wary, I mean, very happy to have you. If you need anything, my name is Pinko. I'm the youngest of the Palmer family. Pinko Palmer. My siblings and I will make sure your stay is relaxing and comfortable. We'll also make sure that it contains an absolute minimum of lava-related injuries. May I give you a tour of our grounds? Sure. We're currently in our grand lobby. As you can see just below us, you'll find our world-famous lava fountain. It's like a chocolate fountain, except of chocolate, it's full of deadly face-melting lava. Please don't eat it. What's this? Don't forget to sample our glorious lava fountain before you move on. How do I sample it? If it's face melting. Where's the actual lava fountain? Is it down here? She said below us. What does this say? Strong electromagnetic field underground. Please avoid the use of delicate instruments. Oh my. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. I need to rotate this guy, but I can't. Why can't I pick up these map pieces? I can't go anywhere unless I can pick them up. Okay. I'm not really sure what's happening here. I need more information. What is this rock? Like, what? Why is it a thing? Don't forget to sample our glory. Okay, so this is me moving on if I do that. The lava fountain is just down the ladder. I'll meet you there. Well. A device that broadcasts to everyone on the volcano. Can I take it? These I can move. Was there anything that we could take? I don't think so. Oh, the chest that said don't open it. Maybe don't open it? Oh, what are these? Storage containers. No, I can't pick up that tool. Is there anything here I can pick up? What's the map like here? Oh. So this is that base. Wait, why does it look like it's connected now? Am I just silly? Was it connected before? And I just didn't walk the right way? Oh no, it's because I turned. It's because I turned the middle piece around. I did it. Hi. Spectacular, isn't it? Guests travel from all over to behold our lava fountain. Some of them throw coins and make a wish, but they usually just end up wishing that they hadn't stood so close to the fountain. Please watch your step. Oh, sure. We have eruptions sometimes. It is an active volcano after all. But there's no need for concern, ma'am. We follow our volcano calendar very closely. We always take the necessary precautions, and we're not due for an eruption anytime soon. That's comforting, I guess. Now that we all feel safe, let's continue the tour. <laughs> Pinko is... is dancing <laughs> this whole time. I'm going to run ahead to make sure our geyser elevator is working. We weren't expecting a guest so soon. I'll meet you back in the grand lobby, and we'll head to the kitchen next. Oh, that was a geyser elevator. Sure. Yum. Oh, there she goes. She dances off. And I am left 
at the lava fountain. Red hot magma. Why does it look so delicious? What am I going to do? Eat the magma? Okay, so I think we're going to meet at the, the geyser elevator and go to the kitchen? Yeah, okay. Okay, Pinko. Keep your arms by your sides and simply step onto the elevator. Just like that! We've had minimal scaldings, I assure you. birds okay let's get a lay of the land now oh okay we're this is it this is all there is you've got some little like hot pot kind of things here you've got some bird statues now entering bird canyon if you're lucky you'll be able to witness our birds migrating interesting oh map piece great i i will use that new piece now how about that? Okay. Oh my. Oh my. A huge steamy vent. Smells like cooking? Well, this is the kitchen, right? Or maybe the kitchen is down here? Ah, the kitchen. Sure, Pinko. Sure. Ma'am, this is our kitchen. Also world famous in which we prepare a variety of sumptuous dishes for our guests. You won't believe how few get sick. Mido is our head chef. She's a superb cook. Braised swamp yams, sour mountain nettles, crispy cactus loaves with goat butter, like goat milk butter, right? Here I go making myself hungry. Sounds terrible. A kiln built with stones of all sizes. Impressive. Plates so clean you could eat off them. <laughs> Various seasonings. Pungent. Is this, is, oh wait, do I have a map piece now? Oh, where did this come? This is another one of those riddles where, so I don't have the map right upstairs then. It was on my left. It was, so this piece now needs to be like this, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. I didn't get a good look at it. Can we just walk up here now? Yes, we can. Hello, ma'am. Hello, you must be our special guest. I hope you're hungry, as I've already prepared, I've already started preparing our most renowned dish. Ash smoked honey bird. You're right to gasp. <laughs> because we're out of season, the ash plumes are a bit unpredictable, so it may take a bit longer than usual. We're at the mercy of the mountain, I'm afraid. But it will be worth the wait. Smoked ash, smoked honey bird. Oh, the candles are giving off like a little smoke effect. That's really cool. Well, hmm. I'm not exactly sure. A dining table cut from a single tree, elegantly set. Okay. Listen. Listen. We must tell, we must warn the honey bird. Oh, the honey bird! Hi! Okay, the volcano redirected the honey bird west. This is happening a lot now. I don't make me trap the honey bird. Don't head back to the lobby just yet. We'll have a delicious meal ready for you soon-ish.
Okay, I'm gonna follow the birds. Oh, wait, the bird's going back now. The bird saw on my map. So, I still have the bird. I still have the bird. What's gonna happen? I must be needing to make something happen, but I'm not sure what. It just seems like it's going to redirect every time it hits the thing. I thought that was the basement! Well, wait a minute. So if it reconnects, I can connect. It's going to go... I can't connect it that way, but I can put it like there. Well, wait a minute. We can just rotate the bird this way now. And then, hold on. I want to get him to the vent. I'm like, I'm kind of confused about what's happening now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I killed the bird. Oh, I think I killed the honey bird. I have him in my inventory now. I don't even remember how to get to my inventory in this game, but I have him now. And I have a new map piece. This is horrible. Terrible. Terribleness. And now there's a goat. What's happening? I am very confused about where to put that. Wait, I think I needed to move this somehow. Oh gosh. Okay. There. Okay, I'm going down again. And now... Oh. Okay. I'm going up again. And I think this guy just needs to go away. And this guy needs to come down here and turn. Oh, he can't. Well, this definitely wasn't right. I don't know. I, my brain can't. Ah, my brain can't handle this. I need this to be here. And now I just need to put this here. Now go in. Great. Hey! Everything's all mixed up now. But now there's a goat waiting for me? No, there's not. It's you. What? Where'd the goat go? We'll finish the tour just as soon as you've eaten. I have to eat the honeybird? I have to give the honeybird to Mido? And she's gonna make... But where'd the goat go? There was a goat. Wow, what a beauty. Guests don't usually catch their own dinner, but it's certainly faster. Thanks for the help. I can't wait to hear what you think. Have a seat, and I'll be right back with the rest of your meal. I don't want to eat this. Okay. I'm going to sit in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you all. Thanks to the mountain for this bounty. Let's dig in. I bet I can eat more birds than you. There's only, there's only one bird. Ready, go. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in a race. I'm in an eating race. I'm hitting space really fast. Wow. You ate 23 smoky birds. How am I not thrown up? Okay, well, I'm going to go. 
The goat! Sephiroth are so magical! Hi, I like this one! Oh, I like that one! Oh, I like them all! Oh, I like you! Meh! The goats eye you creepily with their creepy eyes. Goats do have creepy eyes. This goat here, in this cute, like, adorably illustrated game does not have a creepy eye, but goats do have creepy eyes. Okay, up we go. Huh. <gasps> oh, what is this? Whoa, hi, hi, Pinko. Just a moment, ma'am. I didn't expect you to beat me here. I'd hate for you to get lost in our palatial estate. Anyway, welcome to your quarters. We've put you in the master suite, conveniently located directly above the hot spring. World famous, both. My brothers Indo and Ringo are waiting nearby to assist you. Look at this beautiful rock bed. Wow, what's this, a drawer? A drawer full of pamphlets. Welcome to the Goat Grotto, the smallest rock you've ever seen. Lava, nature's spiciest water. Hotel liability and you. <laughs> Honeybird, conserve or indulge? <laughs> this game is a delight. Are you, you look like a Ringo. Good day. Ah, you must be our guest. I'm not sure how you've made it here, but we're very happy to have you. You must be exhausted after exploring our many amenities. Would you like to rest briefly in our innovative slate bed? It's quite rejuvenating. A look of pure excitement if I've ever seen one. Please lie down and make yourself comfortable. Let the rocks work their magic. Ah, you are feeling its effects? Whoa, I certainly am. The rocks stimulate your pressure points, relieving tension and transferring their energy into you. Ah yes, stir up that hot lava within you. Let it flow into each of your limbs, warming your core and massaging your muscles. There's nothing else quite like it. Whoa. It can be a bit much for some guests, admittedly, but now you have the energy of the volcano coursing through you. The perfect time to enjoy our hot spring. It's just downstairs. Sure, but wait, but oh, is that a mirror? What is that? A cute little cartographer on the other side of a mirror. That's me. I'm the cartographer. Is there anything else to explore? It's just this. It's the hot spring. Okay. Map piece. I've got it. Oh, I can walk on this. Burr. I apologize, ma'am. Our hot spring is currently neither hot nor a spring. It's more of a cold nothing, really. Oh no, the hot spring is empty. How am I supposed to enjoy it? Well, I have a map piece, so... Maybe, oh wait, I don't have a, I thought I got a map piece. Maybe I have to go upstairs to, to see it? Ah, okay. It's another one of these tricky things. So if I put it there and then I come down here, where is it? I want it to be rotated 180 degrees. So pick up, rotate, rotate, and set down. And now down to the hot spring. Great. So now I'm going to come up here. There's a ladder up. Where am I now? I don't know, but there's another map piece now. How did she get here? What's happening? Hello, ma'am. This is our volcano calendar. Today's forecast says ashy with a chance of fireballs. Pleasant. Don't miss our hot spring. It's my favorite part of the lodge. I have bad news about the hot spring, Pinko. We'll wrap up the tour once you're all warmed up. Well, ancient symbols hewn in the rock. I have a new map piece. I can put it down like that. But what does it mean? 
Hi, Milk Toes. Come here. You want to be safe from Pippi? Okay, no. You want to explore? Huh. Whoa. Did that exist before? Like this section over here? No. It didn't, right? Burr. Hmm. It looks like the water spout is clogged up there. We should be way more relaxed by now. Okay, I need to go back up. There should be something up here now. Oh, my. What is it? Toiletries. Toiletries? Oops! You kicked something loose! Hey! Well, the spring has sprung, but the hot has yet to heat. Hmm. Perhaps Thumbo knows what's wrong. Could you check with Thumbo in the grand lobby? I'm a little underdressed. Yeah, I sure could. Grand lobby, grand lobby, grand lobby. This place is a kind of a maze at this point, so let's to go up. I don't think I want to go up. The goats. Oh, maybe I did want to go up because now I can go down and then through the kitchen. Hello. Back this way. And then this should get me to the grand lobby. No, no. This is here, but then now this goes... Up. Oh no. No, here? Oh no. This is the grand lobby. I'm just lost. This is the grand lobby. Of course. I just need to have it. Oh. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Grand lobby. Thumbo, where are you? Thumbo, you don't even know what a time I've just had. Welcome back. I've received word that the water in our hot spring isn't very welcoming at the moment. My apologies. Our heater must be malfunctioning. Isn't the heater just the lava? I hate to ask this of a guest, but could you have a look at it? You seem to have a good sense of how things fit together. Think of it as a secret extra tour. I'll tell Pinko to take a goat and meet you there. Where? Oh, our heater is located at the center of the volcano. It's only accessible via goat. You'll need this orange key to get the goat started. Pippi, did you just sneeze? Just pop it in its mouth and hang on. Uh, it's a carrot. The orange key is a carrot. Sure. Okay. We're going up to dining hall and kitchen. Yeah, I mean, I think so. And then... Okay. Down here. We're in the kitchen. I'm trying to get back to the goats, Mido. And I have found them. This is my trusty steed. I'm going to give you the orange key. And now I'm gonna hop on. Yeah? Oh. Volcano crater? Yeah, okay. Oh wow, I'm here. Ooh, this looks concerning. A fearsome tear in the mountain's crust. What on earth, Pinko? Thanks for helping out, ma'am. We're probably risking our lives. But you can't put a price on comfort. I think you can, Pinko. I think it's my life. Let's get that heater fixed. You should be prepared for anything down there, ma'am. Fire golems, demonic goats, sentient lava. I've seen it all. Sentient lava. Anyway, head on down and I'll read you the instructions from up here. 
Oh, convenient, Pinko. Give the rope a tug when you get to the bottom. What's at the bottom? Okay, this doesn't look so bad. All right. Are you at the bottom? Oh, I didn't tug the rope. Yes. Tug, tug. Okay, listen carefully. First, head to the big wall at the back. Oh. Do you see the three switches? Flip the one on the left. Okay. Now flip the one on the right. Okay. Now do a little dance. Just kidding. Head to the middle and put your hands on the wheel. All right. You're going to need to turn it. Uh, rotate A and D. First turn. I missed it. What did she say? First turn left. Turn right three times. Two, three. Turn left twice. One, two. Turn right once. Oh, what have I done? I may have been reading the wrong set of instructions. Oh, Pinko, no! Oh, what's gonna happen? Sounds like we fully rebooted the system. Maybe come back up quickly? Wait, what's over here? Okay, no. Ah. Ah, I can't! Uh, uh, uh. What is happening? I'm turning it? What am I doing? What did I just do? read the volcano calendar wrong that's only ever happened five or ten times before oh the volcano is going to erupt we have to get as far away from it as possible okay should we i hope i'm alive to collect all the smoky birds after it blows we should get on we should go that hot lava is going to feel so good on my cold body. I assume I just got out of a slate bed. What's everyone yelling about? Okay, I'm getting on the go. I'm leaving. Meh. I don't have a carrot. Oh gosh, I don't have a carrot. We just have to, you know what? I just have to take us and put us like really far away from the volcano. Ah! <laughs> What a game! That was a big in. Wow! So smoky. The hot spring is gonna be hot. No deaths this time. And now we're in the hot spring. Wow! The hot spring. Ah, so hot. So springy. I love it. Yeah, nice. Ah, so relaxing. That eruption inspired me. Blackened cave newt with fiery rock candy. Sounds delicious, Mido. Ah, such a balm. I'm a slate bed man myself, but I can't deny the allure of this sweet, sulfury spring. Hi, Pinko. Still dancing. Ma'am! Ma'am! How did you like the tour? Uh, yeah, it was great. I'm glad we didn't die. Wonderful. Remember to tell your friends how safe it was. All right. If I ever see my friends again, should we go? If we go into this, we go up. To our esteemed guest, we've received a package for you. Please pick it up in the grand lobby when you check out. Am I checking out? Oh, the goat's on the goat statue. I'll miss you, goat. Oh, I can just take the goat now to the grand lobby. 
Yes, please. I don't want to figure out the map again. Now, what about this rock blockage? Is it? It's all gone now. You had quite the exciting stay here. I hope you'll return. Oh, I have a package for you. One moment. Uh, okay. Where's my package? Give me my package. This arrived for you. <gasps> a letter from our granny! My carto. Did you see that eruption? What a sight! I just barely escaped. The volcano seemed to move at the last moment. How fortunate. Or, perhaps you're getting better with your map, you clever girl. <gasps> granny was so close to us. I hope you got away safely too. I'm not convinced anyone knows how to read that dang calendar. The smoke is making it a bit hard to navigate and my engine is close to overheating. There's an iceberg at the edge of the world. I'm going to swing by to cool things down and let the skies clear. Meet me there if you can. Love, Granny. We've got to get to that iceberg. Goodbye, weird volcano people. Yes, I'm ready to leave. Uh, yeah, sorry. You guys are crazy. Going in the minecart of death off of a mountain. 